The Bank of Athens has become Grow Bank. It was formally launched recently and plans to be a bank using digital and personable relations with its customers in the agricultural and food value chain space. Well, to tell us more about the bank's value proposition, I'm joined in studio by Spiro Jojopoulos. He's the CEO at Grow Bank. Thanks very much for joining us, Spiro. Good to be here, Nampu. Good stuff. So, is Grow Bank an amalgamation of the Bank of Athens that was and um, AFGRI uh, Group Holdings? Uh, financial services um, that has been running also for quite a long time in the agricultural space? It is partly an amalgamation, so th that journey has started now. Uh, but the bank itself is, is, is really uh, a bank with legacy that has been doing banking in the business banking space for a very long time. The idea is that we take the uh, AFCRI financial services components and over time combine more and more with them to start delivering a unique service into that market space. And when we talk uh, agriculture, we actually talk agriculture and food value chain because mm -hmm. a lot of people think about the farmer as, when you say agriculture, the first thing that comes to mind is farming. But if you think about what it takes for food to get to your or my plate, uh, there's a whole value chain that happens. Um, and we think about that total value chain. So you'll be financing um, basically every step of that value chain? Absolutely, together with uh, our shareholder, AFGRI. Understood. So... The banking landscape is becoming uh, quite cluttered with new yeah. players uh, coming on the block, particularly in the digital space. And digital is an area that you're going to be playing in along with a, a relational type of banking as well. But what do you think is going to set you apart from the rest in terms of your offering? Sure. So I think it's two things. The firstly, it's that we are uniquely focused in that, in that value chain that we just spoke about. The second thing is that... Um, we believe that businesses, and whether it's in agriculture or any other business, and small and medium enterprises where we focus, um, are quite complex in nature, despite the fact that they are smaller, they're not the big corporates. So you need a great digital platform um, to entice those businesses over to, to, to our bank. Uh, and, but we believe that that's part of an enabling mechanism or an administrative mechanism. So if, you want, if you're a business owner and you want to make payments uh, or uh, move money around, you don't want to speak to anybody. You just want to go onto your internet banking or you want to go uh, onto your app and do your thing at any time of the day that suits you. Yes. But if you're a business owner that's now starting to grow their business and you're making investment decisions, I'm buying a new farm or uh, I'm replacing my transport fleet or I'm buying a new building, you can't do that on an app. You actually have to speak to people who understand what happens in businesses uh, and especially small and medium enterprises and therefore for us we're actually relationship management driven at the center digitally enabled on the periphery rather than the other way around so then what does that that do to your cost base because if you're um, investing in being a relational type of banker giving very specific advice and so on obviously that comes with a cost Sure, it does. Um, but actually, surprisingly enough, it's, it's not a significant cost at the end of the day. Uh, the investment in systems just to become digital is significant uh, over, over a period of time. So we believe that um, the cost base actually doesn't change very much. In terms of um, the digital space, are you already invested there or is that something that you're going to be investing over time? And nationally, what's your reach currently? Okay, so from the digital space, we're a lucky bank in that we are small and therefore we are not burdened by legacy systems like the big commercial banks. So we've actually replaced all our systems in the last four years and we've gone very digital. We're already working with artificial intelligence, we're working with bots, uh, we're working with very smart, uh, let's call it middle layers that allow us to, to manage our customer data in a smart way. From a, a location perspective, I guess, the, um, we, we've come from a legacy of being an urban bank. So we, we have suites in all of the major urban areas. Mm -hmm. But with our shareholders, AFCRI, um, they are well represented in pretty much most of the rural areas in the country. So together, uh, I think our footprint is actually going to be quite significant. In terms of um, the kind of companies that you're going to be investing in or currently invest in, uh, what's your view on emerging farmers? Uh, you know, we do hear that it's quite difficult for emerging farmers to get finance and not just finance, but also uh, advice on know-how, et cetera, et cetera. Sure. So we tend to call them small scale farmers. Um, and the truth of the matter is, it's a small SME business. Yes, it has certain unique requirements because weather, rain and other things play uh, kind of an important role in their lives. Um, so 
AFGRI, as, as, as our shareholder, have been doing programs with small-scale farmers for a very long time, not only in South Africa, but they, they're invested in places like Zimbabwe uh, and even further, uh, further north. And they, they actually have very smart programs where they work with communities rather than individual farmers. So often the equipment that a farmer needs to buy uh, is quite expensive. So an individual small-scale farmer will struggle to, to be able to raise the financing. But if you bring a community of small-scale farmers together and you, you support them by providing the equipment uh, at reasonable rates and let them share the equipment over time. They actually pay it off very quickly. Uh, they own the equipment and, and they actually become independent that way. Hmm, so we'll be working like that. That sounds very sensible indeed. Well, all the very best. Uh, thanks Thank very you. much, uh, Spiro, for your time. That was Spiro Georgiopoulos. He's the CEO at Grow Bank.